Again this noon with breaking news of a large house fire on the northwest side. This is on Ritter End Street, not far from Bandera Road. That's where Ken's Five's Meredith Haas joins us live from. And Meredith, do we know if anyone was hurt in this fire? Yeah, at this point, we don't know that anyone was hurt in this fire, but when we first got here, the the smoke. It was so thick. It was hard to breathe, even see what was going on. But you can see behind me now this house. Its roof has completely caved in. The fire is completely out. They're just putting out some hot spots here and there. Now officials tell me that this fire broke out around 10 this morning and when crews got here, there were 20 units of fire crews and emergency crews helping to get this fire out. Again, we don't know of anyone who was in this home at the time, but this fire was so bad that fire officials tell me they weren't even able to go in and do a preliminary search. They're not even able to go in and search the house at this time. They're going to have to wait out and see. That is how bad this fire was. Now, of course, it is out, but the people I was able to speak with someone living next to this home who was able to escape just in time. I was really scared. I couldn't even think. My first in instinct was to grab my dog. I looked in the backyard and I didn't see anything, but then I hear my dad screaming. Like I said, it has been mostly knocked down. They're going to make sure there's no hot spots. They'll do an assessment to see what the condition of the structure is and then make a determination if, in fact, it's, it's safe to do any kind of primary search. Now you just heard that fire fire official there explaining how they weren't able to do a primary search. That means going in and seeing on top of all of the rubble, that roof that has caved in, seeing if anyone was in that home. But they know from when they showed up here, they didn't have to evacuate anyone from that home. So at this time, officials are saying no one was hurt. No one died in this fire, but they have to still go in and search the rubble. This will be an ongoing investigation. They didn't tell us why they think this fire started, so we'll continue looking into that. But for right now, I'm Meredith Haas, live on the northwest side. Back to you. Thanks so much for that update, Meredith.